Hi, how are you? Welcome back. This is a social studies class. And before we begin, we are going to try to remember what we saw in previous weeks. Do you remember? I hope so. Anyway, remember that we saw our country and different zones. So far, we've seen Zona Central, Central Zone, Norte Chico, Near North, and Norte Grande, Far North. Today, we are going to talk about South Zone. And let's begin. So the first thing we must know about the South Zone, La Zona Sur, is the location. Where is it? So it begins south from Bio Bio River, okay? So from the Bio Bio River up to part of Chiloé and in front of Chiloé in Región de los Lagos. More or less, that's Zona Sur or South Town. That's the first thing we must know. Oh, you found me again. Yeah, I remember we were talking about the South Zone and I'm wearing this wooden hat because we are going to talk some main features of this zone of our country. Well, first of all, we must say that if we if we go there and if we see the map, especially the physical map, we will find more green areas. Um, actually, we we find a lot of national parks there, which are are always full of forests, very interesting forests. Also, we we can find more lakes, a lot of different lakes beautiful landscapes, you know, the combination between these lakes, the volcanoes, the snow, the forests. It's really, really beautiful. Also, we can say that Cordillera de los Andes, uh, the Andes mountain range, is still there, very prominent. And also, we can find the Presión Intermedia, these valleys, okay? Basically, we, we can find that, that. And also, Cordillera de la Costa, the coastal mountain range, still there, not so prominent, it's going down, it's going low, but still there. And also, finally, the Pacific Ocean. That's uh, a, a very broad approach to the terrain that we, we can find there, it's basically that. So, we have forests, we have lakes, national parks, volcanoes, snow, and very importantly, what, what, what do you think? What do you think? Let me remember. Yes, I forgot. And yes, this is the thing. So the reason I'm wearing this woolen hat is because it's colder, more fresh, and especially a lot of rain. And Southern people, they know about it. The trees we, we can find, blah, 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 I'm sorry. So the trees we can find there are species such as Araucarias, Manillos, Lengas, Guayes, and many others. And how about the animals? Well, there we can find Pumas. Um, there's a very, very, very interesting animal there, which is called Ranita de Darwin, right? And also some a type of animal which I really like, I love it because it's so unique, and it's called Monito del Monte. Yes, Monito del Monte. If you want to find out more, you should look it up because it's very interesting. So, this is the end of the video. Remember to do the, do the activity, I'm sorry, to do the activity uh, in the guide is not gonna be so long because I know you've been with a lot of work and also don't forget about arts and Just try to think about the thing we, things we talked today And if you know the South Zone or you've been in some part there Try to remember and try to think this, this, the things you saw there. Did you like the, the landscapes? Did you feel the rain and the, the snow and the cold? Have you ever seen the, those places being hot as well in summer? 
because in summer they're also hot, right? So think about those things. Think about the trees, for example. Have you ever seen an、uh, pewen or araucaria? Very interesting tree, very old tree. Or have you ever been to any national park there? What was your experience? Think about it, and we are going to work with that in the getting ready for work guide. Goodbye. Oh my God! I forgot to tell you about some important cities that we can find in the Zona Sur or South Zone. You also saw them in the map, and I'm pretty sure you may know them, and probably you 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 may heard of them. So it's four of them. We can find Temuco. We also can find Valdivia, Osorno, and something that's very important. This city is very important. Puerto Montt. Yes, Puerto Montt. There are so many other towns as well around. And also, don't forget Chiloé, which is a big island there, and it's a very interesting place. A part, of course, of being beautiful, really, really beautiful. So that's all.